Hey guys, Cubehamster here with a new video. A, uh, a while back I released a um, video on a Tomahawk missile, a missile that flew in a straight line and as soon as it hit something it exploded uh, with a massive explosion causing uh, lots of damage. Um, what I have here now is quite a bit more interesting. Uh, what you see here is basically a high precision bomber and it's quite resource friendly. Mm somewhat resource friendly. Um, it's uh, very accurate though. Um, the way it works is you send one craft forward with TNT and uh, a short while afterward you send a second craft igniting the TNT. Um, and I actually want to show you guys uh, how you can use this, use this and at the end of the video I also did, will do a little tutorial on how you can build it. Um, what you have to do first is you have to figure out the distance to the target. And you can do that by switching to F3. Um, let's see, the, the launch pad is at 620Z. And the target, to try, I did uh, draw some bullseyes on the floor, is at 543. So the distance we have to travel is uh, roughly 77 blocks. And once you figure that out, uh, you will have to do a little bit of math. And basically what you do is you take the distance to the target, you add 1.43856. And then once you've done that, you divide that by 2.66863. Now, these numbers are um, basically just by experimenting and doing a bit of math. Um, I did quite a lot of tests and uh, yeah, these numbers are really accurate. Um, so now we know that the target is 77 blocks away. We can actually do the math. And if we, uh, if we do it, uh, we come down to roughly uh, 29 point something. And we're gonna round it uh, to the closest number. And what we have to do now is we have to get a bunch of items Put them in the top chest, uh, a total of uh, 29. And then we remove the obsidian, which is kind of for safety. And then we flick the lever. And once we flick the lever, the first craft will fly off uh, with a whole bunch of TNT. And the second craft will go as soon as all the items in the chest go down through the hopper into the second chest. So you don't lose any of the items. And yeah, basically, as soon as this thing is above it, it's gonna, um, yeah, basically the, the redstone block here is gonna push past, igniting all the TNT, and hopefully we will end up with a very nice hole right in the middle of the bullseye. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this three times. Um, this one I'm gonna completely show the, the next one, so I'll, uh, I'll do a bit of editing. So you guys don't have to wait as long. Um, but like we're roughly above the target now. And one of the things that was kind of important is that I want a very, very nice hole like that. So it's quite a deep crater, but I also want the craft to continue going afterwards because that means that you could technically send more bombers afterwards and to make a bit more holes. Uh, I'm actually gonna stop this one. And uh, yeah, let's do the mat for the, the, the second bullseye. Okay, so again, at 620, that's just how I positioned them. Let's see where the bullseye is. The bullseye is at Z487. We were at 620, so that's uh, 133. Okay, so now we again just do the math again. Um, distance 133. We add 1.43856, divide all of that by 2.66863, and according to my calculations, you end up with around 50. Uh, so we put in 50 blocks, 
There we go. Oh, and then we remove the obsidian and we flick the lever. And I'm going to wait at the bullseye for it to arrive. Almost there, almost there. Um, so it's slowly catching up again. Uh, second just just slightly faster. Let's go down and watch the explosions. That's again, like it's it's almost perfect. It's very good. So um, the final test, because these are still relatively close by, is uh, an extremely uh, one that's extremely far away. Obviously, the start is at uh, 6:20 again, but I'm gonna switch to spectator mode and fly all the way off into the distance, so we can get uh, an accurate distance till uh, yeah till the far away bullseye. Okay, I uh, made it to the last bullseye, which is at Z25. So that's, we came from 620, that's 595 blocks. And that means again, distance plus 1.5 divided by 2.66863. I actually have a calculator here, so like I'm not doing this from head. Um, that's roughly 223 items. So I'm going to fly back and, um, yeah, we'll, uh, see if it's still accurate at the distance of 595 blocks. Okay. Um, 223, that is 64, 128. 192, 200, 222, 223. Remove the obsidian. And this is going to take a uh, probably a very long time. Um, and I'm obviously going to edit this a bit, but uh, one thing is important though, that if you are sending, and I can imagine that if you are trying to bomb your friend's base, that's uh, quite far away, um, these, th these things don't load the chunks, so they can't fly through unloaded chunks, which means you have to kind of have someone supervise them as they fly. And uh, what I can show you now though, is that if I look in the chest, you should see the item slowly disappearing. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go uh, fast forward a bit. Okay, so this took forever, but it is almost there. And I'm crossing my fingers that is, it is somewhat accurate. I feel like I, it's kind of off a little bit, but... Now, it's fairly good. It's traveled 595 blocks, and uh, it's still pretty accurate but it as you can see it is I can imagine if you go like uh, 1,000 blocks or something uh, you might you might have a little bit less accuracy but um, it's pretty accurate and this thing is still flying into the unloaded chunks I'm actually gonna stop it somewhere but uh, yeah say say you have, you know where it's gonna end up you could stop it manually or just have a block somewhere and then technically you could go there and uh, collect your stuff, which would be very useful. Um, so yeah, let's actually go build it and uh, yeah, show you guys how it's done. Okay, I am gonna build it uh, just facing the same direction as the, uh, the other bombers. And there's one thing that's kind of important, not very, but a little bit, um, yeah. If you want maximum damage, like the, the 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 crater to be very, very very compact, uh, it's best that you go roughly 70 blocks above what you're trying to bomb. And the reason for that is that because um, if you place TNT or you drop TNT at uh, roughly this this height, um, it kind of explodes. Um, it it kind of explodes at um, as soon as it hits the ground. 
but you could go a bit lower 70 is already a bit high maybe 69 68 something like that to get uh, the the best result um but yeah i am gonna uh this is gonna be the the direction i'm gonna build it in and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get rid of f3 um we are gonna start by building a simple engine and i've already used and shelled this engine in the tomahawk missile but the the way it works is that by the way if you look at my hotbar that's roughly the items you need or at least the, ex the expensive ones um, as soon as you update uh, update this piston it will extend and while it extends it grabs the non-sticky piston moves it forward into a butter position causing it to extend so every time you update this piston it will move forward and what you can do then is if you have two of them and you use one of them to update the other and you're kind of like in a circle which is the, the whole principle of yeah the flying machine in minecraft is that um, yeah you can make a, a, a somewhat slower than normal craft which is important because that means we can actually uh, catch up with it um, somewhat slower craft and um, yeah basically use one engine to update the other um, so the way it works is we need uh, some sand actually so I'm gonna get rid of the hopper uh, we need some sand mm, this when this piston grabs this one and pushes forward it's going to drag the sand along and it's going to drag the sand right next to the sticky piston causing it to update but at that point this piston will be there and as if this pushes forward this tnt block is going to get pulled away causing an update causing this engine to, to work again which then causes that engine to work again and you get kind of like a circle um, which is what we need uh, I'm not going to place the redstone blocks yet because um, yeah, then, then you have to be careful with updates and stuff. But there is actually two redstone blocks there. Um, then what we need is we need an, like a normal block. Uh, I'm going to use glass. Uh, we need four of those. Uh, actually six, I'm thinking now. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to build one of the simplest engines you can make. Simplest flying machines. It is a non-sticky piston followed by the, the same engine what we have there uh, but i should probably get rid of that before something bad happens and then we place uh, some glass there and there to make it look like a penis and then we need some quartz or just some whatever building block and we are going to place piston like so we're going to use that to, to basically trigger it the same way would we triggered the tomahawk missile um, but we need a timing mechanism and for that we need some chests uh, we can already place the comparator there and then we need a hopper chest chest hopper going down the way hopper works is as soon as there's an item in here it's going to get dragged downwards um, but we actually want to prevent that from happening so we get a lever which is also used to trigger the whole mechanism and we activate that and now if you put something in here it stays and it also causes that piston to extend um, I don't know I like a, sort of as a safety mechanism I'm gonna put some obsidian in here but you can use whatever you want and what you can also do is you could technically fill this up oh, my phone is empty don't mind that uh, with any item you want and then it's not very necessary what I did then but it's kind of annoying to have this thing activate without you wanting it to uh, we can go all the way over there there we get uh, our final non-sticky piston and we I'm actually noticing you need to, uh, one two three four five six, no that's right so six non-sticky pistons then we go all the way over here 
two repeaters, one on four ticks, one on one tick. And then we place our redstone blocks that we didn't have yet. And this one. And then we should test it. And yeah, I, I don't really feel like doing a calculation, so I'm just gonna put some stuff in. Oh, no, let's, not, let's not let it fly too far. Let's just put seven items in there. Move the obsidian. And as soon as we trigger it, that thing's gonna fly off. And the second one goes shortly after. And it's gonna hopefully stop that piston first. Go past it, push the sand forward. The sand falls down. That's why I need sand. And we get a massive crater. So uh, yeah, there we go. I um, I hope you guys uh, like this. And uh, like I said, useful for faction stuff, but also for just messing with your friends. And uh, this can be customized to do ridiculous amounts of damage. Just this principle in general. And uh, yeah, should be uh, should be quite a bit of fun. So uh, like always, uh, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. If the tutorial helped you, you like this design, world files in the description. Be sure to leave a like. And uh, yeah, if you have anything for the next episode of Sharing is Caring, um, just send me a private message and I will check it out. Thanks for watching. I will see you all later. Bye bye.